Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch working on Wednesday. So, I'm working on a new whip. <laughs> um, I talked about this in my vlogist that I filmed yesterday, but then I didn't edit it last night, so you haven't seen this yet. <laughs> but I got this kit gifted to me recently, and I wanted to start on it. So it's the Nightmare for Christmas crochet kit. <laughs> and I love Tim Burton, so I'm super excited about this. Um, so I pulled out the little book last night. And I want to make all the characters, but instead of using the yarn that came with it, it comes with enough to make Sally and Jack. Um, I'm going to use worsted weight yarn because that's what I have on hand 99% uh, of the time. <laughs> uh, so I have enough yarn to start all of these except Sally and Shock, which is the girl at, from Lock, Shock, and Barrel. <laughs> um, because I don't have that purple color that they both have. And I need a good skin color for Sally, so I have to do that eventually. <laughs> so I started Jack, uh, the regular black and white Jack, uh, last night. So I didn't get very far at all. So last night I made one leg. <laughs> That's one of his legs. And then I started on the second one today, this morning. So I'm getting there. <laughs> it sucks working with just black yarn. But he is just black and white, all of them. This picture of him. Uh, so I'm going to work on him first, and then I'm just going to make the rest of them slowly and uh, I'll go back and make Sally and Shock um, later when I, this is Shock right here, later when I uh, can get that purple color because I don't have any, I don't have any mean purple at all. I think I have amethyst and like a lavender color so I need this color and then I need a skin color for Sally because she's got like a blue skin tone. Um, I don't have a, that color blue. So that's what I'm working on today. Uh, I also am going to be cutting out batting today. I, right here, I cut out some more fabric for bags to go in the shop eventually. <laughs> I'm not sure when. But this is just some drawstring bag sets and some uh, tote bags. So, there's just these prints and drawstring bags. I like this one. And then there's a couple other prints. And then <clears throat> for the tote bags, I got this pretty fall leaf. These are going to have pockets on the outside. This is the pocket right here. <laughs> the actual bag is right here. But they're going to have the matching pockets on the outside. I'm going to try those ones this time. <laughs> and then there's this cool black and white print. Like a mandala. And then this really cute sheep print. These will be tote bags. Uh, eventually. I'm not exactly sure. I'll probably start working on them just a little bit this next, you know, later this week. Towards the weekend. So it might be next week. It could be a week after that. Who knows? <laughs> But uh, I was cutting that yesterday and today, and then I sat down and I was crocheting on this because I wanted something little. I like working on amigurumis to work on, but I'm still trying to work on my Halloween advent too. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And also, last night my fair finally updated their website, so I was able to look at the updated list of entry things. So I, I made a list. I'm going to be entering anywhere from eight to twelve items, depending on if I get like the Halloween advent done, and if I ever get my blanket lined, and if I find the baby blanket. I know I have it. <laughs> that I made June, I just cannot remember for life from me where I put it. So I'll have to dig around and try to find it. So, um, hopefully I'll get to enter, you know, all 12, but I really don't know if I'm going to have time to do the blanket because I have to still buy the fabric for it and then actually do it. And it's already, what is it? Today's the 10th, I think. So the fair entry day in my fair is September 3rd. So I do have a little while, but, uh, it's coming, you know, <laughs> and we're dealing with all the house stuff and all that too. So, uh, my time is like crunched right now. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. I was getting my, um, fair stuff mentally together. It's still kind of all over the house. <laughs> and working on these legs. I'm going to finish this other leg here in a minute. June is napping, so I'm going to try to get that leg done. And then you attach them together to make the body. Um, but yeah, I'll look around. I think you can get this on Amazon. I'll link it below if you're interested in checking it out. There's a bunch of these little crochet kits. Um, I really wanted this one, so I was really happy when I got it in the mail one day. And, uh. But I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on today. And feel free to share any links or anything like that. And I will see you guys in another video. Later today for vlogist. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of clips from yesterday and then today. Uh, because I just didn't have time to edit it last night. I kept looking at the clock and it kept getting later and later when I was dealing with the kids. And I was like, I'm going to go to bed. And I'll deal with it tomorrow. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.